Hello everybody, it's your boy Warmerster here and today we are doing another Hoi 4 achievement. This one is pretty hard, uh, not that hard but it just take too long, okay? So this Hoi 4 achievement is called Go Ahead Macau My Day. Yes, this Hoi 4 achievement requires you to create a collaboration government of China in Macau and make them control all of China without core. Yes, to do it without core, which means it's a non-core nations, okay? So it's a bit hard. It's not really that easy. And first thing you have to do is that you have to go for a uh, path that will lead you into a better position. So in this path as Portugal, you have to go as a non-aligned path, meaning that you have to unite the kingdom of Brazil and the kingdom of Portugal. Yes, I know it's strange. Some people would go as a communist, some people would go as fascist, some people would try to uh, invade Spain in the middle of civil war, some would try to invade nationalist Spain in the middle of the civil war as well. However, I do recommend going with the non-aligned path. The reason why it is easy, first of all, you have to go with the non-aligned path, you have a uh, advisor who has political powers, you also have to go to war with uh, the Brazil as well so that you can unite the empire of Brazil. And when you unite the empire of Brazil, you will get a united kingdom and then you will get a really huge bonus of populations, of manpower, also with multiple guns and also ships and also uh, around 10 division of troops as well.
And when the Brazilian Civil War is done, I recommend that you pull all your troops into the Spanish border, border, sorry, to the Spanish border and ready to unite United Kingdom of Brazil and Portugal, train a lot of troops and wait until the Spanish Civil War is over and then go with the focus tree of deal with fascism. Deal with fascism will give you a instant war goal against six fascist country, Venezuela, Peru, Japan, Italy, German Reich, and Nationalist Spain. You have to go with Nationalist Spain. The reason why I'm saying this is because Nationalist Spain has a lot of factories, Nationalist Spain has a lot of manpower, and when you do that, you have to declare war on them, and you will require a lot of troops. I do recommend going with cavalry. The reason why you go with cavalry because cavalry is best. You can use cavalry to encirclement the enemy. You can use cavalry to reach uh, points easily. And besides, after the end of the nationalist, sorry, after the end of the Spanish Civil War, Spain has a small troops, so it's easy for you just to take it. Okay, but be careful. Germany and Italy will send a volunteers, and those volunteers will definitely gonna grind you guys up. Just do as fast as you can. Capture Sevilla, capture Madrid, Barcelona, Valencia, Cordoba, Bilbao, Zaragoza, everything that has a lot of points. Just do it, okay? And when you're done occupying all of Spain, root out the resistance, go to your uh, tab and go for civilian oversight so that they will no longer do a riot. If you put it into a hard condition, they will go on a rebellion. It's going to be a big problem. It's going to be really hard. So, after you beat them after you root out all the resistance, train a lot of troops, okay? And then wait until Germany declare wars on Poland, and when Poland join the ally with France and Great Britain, you can justify against France. When you justify against France, you can attack from the south and also naval invade at Belfast as well. After you naval invade at, sorry, not Belfast, it's Brest, yes, Brest. When you maybe wait at rest, it's easier. You guys can do anything you guys want. And when you guys reach Paris before Germany, you will get a lot of victory points. And then you will have to naval invade United Kingdom.
And when you defeat the allies, remember, give all the mainland troops, sorry, mainland uh, territories in China to Macau, okay? Don't let Germany or Italy take it. If they take it, then you have to fight them again. It's gonna be hard, okay? When you annex Britain, also give the land of France and, or just give Hong Kong and the uh, land at Guangxi to Macau, okay? After you do that, you beat all everybody, you still have to deal with Vichy friends, okay? It's always best to go with Vichy friends. The reason why I'm saying this is because Vichy friends uh, covers most of the nations around the world. So try to take out Vichy friends. After you take out Vichy friends, I recommend that you guys go against Soviet Union with Germany. The, the reason why I'm saying this is because, first of all, it will give you a lot of war score. When you have a lot of war score, War score will give you so many stuff and you can grab all the Far East front of China at the Soviet border. Yes, I'm saying this. And then after you take out Soviet Union, I recommend go against Japan. But do not leave the Axis faction. Always stay in the Axis faction. By staying in the Axis faction, it's easier for you. You guys can take out anybody you guys want. And if Germany is having a war with the United States, do not join their war at all, okay? After you defeat Japan, you will give all the nation to China. And then you will try to gather all your troops and get ready because it's going to be a really big battle, okay? So gather your troops, surround your troops around China. Do not call your allies. Only call your collaborations nation, okay? Call Porto, uh, Porto Brazilian China only, okay? Call them in. After you call them in, after you win the war, just give all the nations, sorry, all the state into Macau, and then you have it. Go ahead, Macau my day. I hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough. And if you guys uh, enjoy it, please leave a like down below. If you guys have any questions, uh, ask me. I will be happy to answer. I hope you guys are having a nice day. Also, stay safe. Wash your hand. I will see you guys next time for another Hoi 4 achievement.